I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the wall. I don't think we ever saw Jon Snow in the first episode. I don't even remember. All right. <clears throat> uh, first episode for me, the little kid got fucking shanked and died. These are dark days, I fear. Nothing wrong. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Yeah, he died. I've decided to name you as my sentinel servant. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasher. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. Oh, oh shit. No. no! Don't let them take me! Oh, my son. Okay. <clears throat> Ew. Just me, Besker. Took you long enough. The rail's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. Is that a girl? I guess so. Alright. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Is it me or all the are are like the mouths weird? It's blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, something seems odd this right now. This could use a good cleaning. I complain to the owner. Fragrant. Uh, okay. Fuck it. What up? Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow. Waste time even drinking it, if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know I do. Are you drunk? May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. You're drunk, aren't you? Nah. I'm still sober, because you're still ugly. Wow. <laughs> Another round? I think they're gonna bang. Have you forgotten about our no, honored and exalted Welcome guest? Go see if he's still breathing. What the fuck? How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. Kick him! After that. No, oh, does Asher scare you? You should see him when he's angry. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. 
We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. What? Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best whores when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. They're still Who my family. Cares? They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Just remember, we have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To 800 gold dragons in our pocket. Well said. Press W when the time is right. <laughs> You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that gameplay. Beskett, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bizarre. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again- Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Good to see you too! It's good to see you too, Tazal. <coughs> Where is he? Where's who? Oh shit. Here. Four hundred dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. He's worth twice that. <laughs> Look at the balls on this one. Give us eight hundred and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all Valyria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Damn. Bloody hell. I think he's dead. And done with you too. Calm down, Tizal. We can still work out a deal. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Okay. Uh, flip the table. All right. Who dies first? Who wants to dance at the end of this? Kill them now! Is it too loud, Not guys? Here's one. Come on! Yeah. She couldn't pass me. Uh oh. You owe me one. Fuck you, Ash. 
Uh. Oh. Okay. Fuck you, Ash. Fazal, cost him this. Asha, Asha. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. I thought I thought he got stabbed there. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Novos. Break his neck. Kill me. Oh my god. To Saul. Asha. <laughs> Damn, dude! Why in all the gods of fire and fuck? Who the fuck is he? My uncle. That ended well. More on their way. We need to go. Come on. Welcome. Damn it. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. He's the guy's brother. He's the eldest son of uh, the family. Uh, where like the the son got stabbed in the neck. Pretty much. God, R.I.P. That sucks. I don't know. <clears throat> no, I can't, Elemental. Deal with it. Complain about like that small little overlay. People's face cams are like twice as big. Fucking four times as big. There's nothing you're missing. Probably a two hour episode, that's usually how it is. Oh god. Oh, he's alive.
That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. <laughs> All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again! <laughs> Who have you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a lord. A sable in was... Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. And you have the fucking stones to try it again! No! I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead? They're Forrester! Look at the colours! Leave! Now! Fine! I'll dump them in the river then! Oh, shit. You come back here again, you won't be leaving! You got that? I, I heard you! Oh, lousy sheep fucker! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I don't worry, sir. Seven hours. What is it, sir? Oh, this shit. one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me, Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By oh, the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the Maester! Hurry! Fetch the Maester! Roderick! Damn. <clears throat> Yo, what if he's like cutting shit off right now? I don't trust this guy. My lord, you should not be awake. The milk of the puppy. Drink. Come Drink now. it. That's it. Roderick. My lady. No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Only if you let me finish my work. <laughs> That's Sir, the mother, lady, right? I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed anyone. Oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah. As it is, you may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Good to see you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, bitch. I didn't mean to hurt you. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry. You don't look fine. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Oh, God. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? 
We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the Grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> Bitch, just write the song. I'm like almost dead. Then don't write it. Mother will understand. It's the non-subs. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. Dude, his face looks fucking infected. It's kind of nasty. I missed you, brother. Alright, help me up, alright? You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. Oh god. Oh god, my finger! Ah! We got it. Roderick! Damn, concussion. I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. True, true. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, car. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. I must do this myself? No. I have to do this on my own. All right. Oh, shit. Froggy, you got to chill, bro. I don't feel like reading your stuff. You're going full retard. Something lol, thank you for subbing. Now the hard part. Here we go. Nice and steady. Oh! We're good. You're really doing it. Everyone will be so glad to see you up, though I think you'll find that much has changed. Okay. I like forgot all these characters because it's been like three months since I played. Why is my mouse just going? I'm not even doing anything. All right, whatever. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Castle Black. So this is a seat of the night's watch. Recruits at the gates. What up, bitch? I'm here to serve and protect the realm and stuff. Thank you, Tussin.
chivalry medieval warfare. All right. You arrival, is it? Yep. Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Wow, dick. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. He's talking about penis. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. <clears throat> Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Alright. Clappin, it's been like 20 minutes. What the fuck do you expect? Jesus Christ, some people... Morons. What up, bitch? You recruit? No sword strength whatsoever. <clears throat> you recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Yep, pretty much. Who are you, boy? <clears throat> uh, Jared, uh, Jared Tuttle. Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle. Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your I killed two I men. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Uh, okay, if you say so. If you say so. I do. Now then. We'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Well, oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Wow, man. Great leader. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread! Ugh, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord White Hill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die the White Hill soldiers always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. Degore's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. <laughs> he has no fucking right. Lord, <clears throat> fucking. Oh shit. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Yo, fuck you, man. He's a Had a run in cripple. with Walder Frey, did you? Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is a real cursed. shame about your leg, my oh, lord. Give us a toss. Act what cool, man. Act strong.
We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Wow. Don't test me, bitch. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. Aren't these like my allies or something? I don't understand. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs or this house? Uh, I'm the lord of this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Go on then, my lord. Yeah, bitch. These are the soldiers that occupied your city? Oh. <sighs> Let's go. It's madness. You can't starve them I out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. Oh my god. My boy. Mommy. <laughs> Come join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Oh damn. Oh shit! <gasps> Fuck! My lord! I think I got it. I don't know. Always keep your hands on your keyboard. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. All right, let's get to business. That's it to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the White Hill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord White Hill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Royal. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's Slam your hostage. fist. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, and we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Do whatever it takes. Ryan will not remain hostage at High Point. Perhaps it's time to talk about the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. What? Lady Elena? She's coming now! My betrothed is coming to Ira. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. The if she fuck? still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Fetch the makeup! Talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. 
We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. It's yes, destiny. My lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. What the fuck? Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. I know, right, General? The foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Okay. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. <clears throat> and the seal. Here you are. Amazing. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. Uh-oh. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Bro, go take a Thank shower. You. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? <laughs> she's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Interesting. Okay. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh shit. Um 
she's gonna probably find out. What do you guys think? <clears throat> She's gonna find out dude. All right, I'm not gonna do it I'm sorry Roderick. I'm gonna get executed Sir Maynard you are hereby invited Mira Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters Sir Maynard <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? What? Or a declaration of war. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Who the fuck are you? If you don't mind. I don't know if I like the sound of that. Don't worry, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Who is she? I have no idea. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. She's the other handmaiden? Oh. Oi. Fuckhead. <laughs> you might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Fuck off. I'm not moving. What? Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over. I uh, don't care. No. And I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. <laughs> Turned out she was married to some nordly. He tried to stick me with this. Nice. I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? <laughs> I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. <laughs> potatoes? You fuck potatoes. <laughs> no, I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. <laughs> There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Oh shit. Tuttle, who was it? Uh, you know what? Sorry. Sir, it was my fault. So selfless. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow. Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Yeah. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Okay. Again. Moves up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come 
until we can get brakes, but brakes. Whoa, was that Jon Snow? Yo, where are the swords at? Let's go. Let's go. Take that! Take that! Oh, oh, you bloody top! You, grab a practice sword. I wasn't looking at the screen. I saw him at this the end. Do. I was looking at my cell phone. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled. But a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Yo, here we go. Here we go. Come on, keep at it. Yeah, bitch. Well, four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. I said in the chest, not a bloody wall. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought we were going to fight or something, or spar. Doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these, we're like. Ah! Oh! oh <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> all right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets, I tell you to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Bitch. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. What the fuck? <laughs> my cursor went on my other monitor. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What is going on? Why is that happening? Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. Why is it doing that? Uh. <laughs> what if I press enter instead? That works. Good. Right target. Chest. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Like, center, center? Yeah. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. I've been playing for maybe an hour, I think. I think... Episode might be done somewhat soon. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Oh shit! Don't tell, all right. I don't think he'd take it kindly. Uh, I get. And now I'm not. I can't promise anything. I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. Fuck you, you're useless. Dude looks like a fucking skinny rat. What was the third thing we had to do? I don't even know. Some bullshit about something. Was it lifting the barrels or something? You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. 
Oh! oh. <coughs> Want some help? <laughs> wow. All right, man. You're cool. No, I. No, never mind. Dick. Don't hurt yourself. Tough. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cough. <laughs> if the thing isn't frozen off. <laughs> Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. Not bad. Yo, I covered for you, and you're still a dick? You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Oh. Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... <laughs> I'll cut their fucking balls off! Cotter took it. <laughs> you little fucking thief! <gasps> Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it, do something! I don't know. Fuck. Snitch. Oh shit. <laughs> fight. Fight. Yeah, get it. Here they go again. Yeah, bitch. No, I didn't. And Garrett knew about it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. Oh. I swear I don't have it. He put it on him, Garrett. Lied to me. Is this what I can expect from you, Todd? Uh, on your first bloody day of training? It wasn't my fault. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Wow, John Get Snow. Off. Dick. <laughs> Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. Okay. Oh my god, motherfucker. Draco Dragon, thank you for the resub. When you go Darkest Dungeon? I don't know, man. After this, maybe. We'll see. It's already 420. This what way. the fuck? <sighs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The Her story is so fucking boring. Your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. Uh, sure. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. I hope you've got another one of those. I never took you for a lush mirror. <sighs> Sadly, it's just the one. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. Fuck it. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Ah. <sighs> 
So, I, uh... <clears throat> well, she... I just... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. Just, I want to trust you. Just tell me. I need you to promise. Sarah, just tell me. All right. Fine. Just please. Keep it a secret. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. <gasps> I don't give a fuck. Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She Why is she telling me this? And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. My mother died not long after. Dot, dot, dot. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Dot, dot, a dot. family of my own. But without Lady Marjorie's help, I don't know how to make that happen. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Dot, dot, dot. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. I understand if you can't commit to anything. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Oh, shit. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, da, da, you're da. going about it the wrong way. It, it's not what it looks like. We were just... Just airing the wine? Not the finest arbor red. But a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you. Sarah took you won't it. even share with me. Sarah took the wine from the cellars. <coughs> you? I, uh... It's always the quiet ones. I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Drinking wine stolen from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. Damn. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped swords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. Do it. Go. 
Oh, I thought I had a choice. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Who Some gold you've brought you? for entertainment. She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? I can't do this. I assure you, I can. Damn. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Stare him down. Nor am I. <laughs> lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. Uh... I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. Marriage. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. Damn. Okay. My lady. It's all right, Claw. Thanks for the resub, dude. Greyman, Mentic, Santa, and Linkus, thank you guys for subscribing. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, Stunted. Mr. Panic HD and Log5000, thank you guys for subscribing. Oh. Let's go, let's go. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of sellswords. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. 
What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? He I'll... didn't part on the best of terms. I'll convince him. Maybe with my knee to his balls. <laughs> there are other ways, Asher. Not half as effective, though. Uh-oh. Well, this mother of dragons and her sellswords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh, shit. Ponte Renas. Yonkai Hanoncho si bota con costoti da or. Kill the soldier! Let's go. You're quick, I'll give you that. But you're reckless. If I have to, I will murder my way to Ramsay Snow and cave his bloody head in. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asha. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Oh god, not her story again. Someone's in your room. Bust in. Uh oh. I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. She had to take the optimal path. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. All right, calm down, Destiny. If the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of 
Of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Oh shit. Send her in? Roderick? She's... Oh. You look. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no, just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Iron Wrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. <laughs> Mother's name day feast. <clears throat> we danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral, and you. Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. Oh White shit! White built soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Uh. Has something happened? Uh, uh yeah. We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... No, I haven't, random question. Thank you, though. My father is questioning the wisdom <laughs> of our betrothal. <laughs> He wants me to call it off. You do realize, like, internet popularity doesn't really... What do you Hold want? on. I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. My house is stronger than it looks. Every one of us is fighting to survive, even beyond Ironrath. It's good to hear you so assured. But I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Bitch, please. Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. Oh, God. I wish that was enough. I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. Wow. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, the rumors are true. Oh, shit. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. Get out! 
now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. Imi the intimidate. son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you've hurt Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you ordering them around and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fuck your soldiers. Fuck you. Roderick, too. please. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. So, here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was so self-righteous, it made me sick. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Uh -huh. Neil, and kiss my shiny ring. Damn. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Fuck you, Please. bro! It means nothing. And we'll get to see Ryan again. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow. I know so what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Damn, dude. Fucking chat! I should have kissed him! Oh, by the way, <laughs> my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I won't bow to Lord Whitehill. And now your brother will pay the price. He's gotta grow up sometime, lady. My lord, are you well? Seven fucking hours. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You need those men to have your back. Yeah, what up, Dante? Trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. You're right. I'm sorry. John Snee. I'm Garrett. Frostfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You won't stop bothering me. You were a squire. He thinks you have potential. He said you fought for the north with the foresters. You were there with the twins. Yes. I still don't understand. 
3,000 men, and not one could save my brother. Why didn't anyone fight back? We fought as best we could, but it wasn't enough. The phrase cut us open. Those cowards. Couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Walder Frey and Roos Bolton will pay for their treachery. I'd like to believe you, but men like that don't get what they deserve. Now the Freys command River Run, and the Boltons are Wardens of the North. After what they did, it's not right. They killed my lord. I couldn't stop them. Peace out, homie. Have a good one. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor, Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason, and they'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. Trust me, I know. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. <clears throat> what happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. Whoa. Damn. <clears throat> I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? <laughs> Winter is coming. I want to fight. You'll have your chance, don't worry. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand Warvins. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers, thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Okay, interesting. Tuvia, thank you for subbing, and he angry. Thank you for subbing. Appreciate it, guys. Oh, damn. I'm here, but where are you? Uh oh. <gasps> She's like creeping around. Is that a guard or is that him? Where do you think oh. you're? <laughs> what the fuck? At this time of night. <sighs> uh. I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do 
you know what this uniform means? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Can't I just stay a while longer? Please? Did you not hear me? At ease, Lucan. Found the him. Lady is with me. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jon Snow. Night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Thank you, Damien. It was my pleasure. You got my note. That was you. I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. What do you know about Lord Tyrion? Oh, I could tell you a great deal about the Imp. I don't know if I should trust this guy. I am sorry about this, Mira. But you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. Whoa! What? What are you talking about? I'll make this quick if that helps. Oh shit! See you suffer. <gasps> the worst soldier ever. The non sub. <laughs> Fuck it, run. <laughs> <laughs> Toss it. <laughs> Not again. No. Gwyn Whitehill doing here? No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady? Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. I know my words probably mean nothing to you. Your father caused this. He brought Ramsay to our door. He watched as that bastard killed my little brother. Yes, he had a part in it. But you cannot blame him for everything. Still, your brother didn't deserve this. Oh, God. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage, but I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation, but if I can offer you this... Your father is a cruel man. He's never done a kind thing in his life. That's not true. I admit he's caused pain. But he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died <laughs> because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right, but he is only a child. He feels forgotten, alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will never come. 
that they've chosen their pride over him. I will get him back. He'll be with his family again. You tell him that. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. Paul Panzer okay. Toro, thank you for subbing. You should speak to Mother. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mother. Come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead they send her. Don't worry. She's on the way out. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one, but his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. I watched as countless of our kin fell, saw our lands destroyed, everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. I won't let that happen to us. You must be ready to defend us, Roderick. Your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. You let nothing stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds. Yeah. No matter what, you must do it. Promise me. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Mira, Asher, even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes, I suppose we have to be. Is he a wizard? Would you say a few words, my lord? everything. Oh God. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. He was always honorable. I never knew better man. I don't I am. I am sorry. <laughs> I love you father. Ethan. My little brother. You served this family well, though I was not there to see. He would have been proud. Oh, we God. honor Lord Gregor Forrester, my husband, my love, and our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. <laughs> but now is time to say goodbye. Father and son are returned to the earth, to the ice. And from their sacrifice, new life begins. Iron from ice. Iron, Iron from ice. From ice. <laughs> From ice, from ice, we've forced 
just born to us we all return oh my god father brother i've sworn i've sworn to guard this rest you've earned i'd be Whitehill needs to torment us. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up and follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. Oh, the things we do for family. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. No. I overheard a couple of men who Oh, you survived! Nonsense! They're questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? Fuck. Okay, you and 78% of players didn't forge Marjorie's letter. You and 65% of players refused to kiss Lord White Will Hill's ring. Wow. Talk about fucking 35% bitches. You and 60% of players lost Roderick's throttle of Elena. Oh, wow. You and 4.3% of players sold out Cotter after he stole Finn's knife. <laughs> you and 50% of players didn't kill Mira's attacker. Wait, seriously? Wow. That means a lot of people ran away. What the fuck? Damn, that was a 50-50 split. <laughs> That's a 50-50 split. I'm surprised. I would assume most people tried saving non-sub. I gotta take a piss, guys. I'll be right back.
All right. Um, interesting. That was uh, decent.